ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I am Trainer Havoc, and we are jumping in to the second half of Cosmic Eclipse. We I had a really exciting first half. If you guys haven't watched it, you should go and watch it. Um, but it also took me a while to get through it. So I want to bust right into this one. Um, I'm hoping that we get, we have some exciting cards still. This is my first booster box I've ever opened, actually. Um, but I, I've watched lots of people open booster boxes, so my concern is that um, the if the pull rates are about what they are, I basically pulled everything but like a couple ultra rares in <clears throat> in the last video. So I don't know. There, I'm hoping for a full art trainer. I still think that that's a possibility, but I don't. I don't. I don't really know um, because I got a. I did get a full art, um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Um, it's a completely new set, so um, I could be totally wrong on all accounts, and there could still be amazing pulls in here. Who knows? So we're going to uh, find out. I'm also expecting a lot of hollow rares this time. Um, oh, that's a cool That's a cool card, Heliodis. And ooh, there we go. We got a Knockalid Doll and a Guzzlord GX tag team. There you go. Um, I think I have a lot of hollow rares still to pull. But there you go. There's my guy right there. I am. <clears throat> I think after this, I'm gonna have to open this elite trainer box because uh, I don't know what exactly I'm excited to pull out of this set because I don't really know that much what's in it. Um, like, I, I would be really curious after this comes out, I don't know how long it takes, a couple weeks or whatever, what is the card to get? I know Charizard's in it and everyone loves Charizard. So it could be Charizard that's uh, the ones the one to get but it might ooh clay <laughs> um but it might not be is that a reverse rare i don't know who that pokemon is but that's a reverse rare and then we got a crab abominable why another one sometimes when you see multiple of the same rares call me a little bit of hypocrite i think steelix was in unified minds let's be honest uh, i love steelix so that one's fine but other than steelix other than the exception why do they add a bunch of the same rares over and over I feel like there's other Pokemon out there that should get a shot at being a rare and or uh, just some out there that you never like really see in card and they're not really rare. Anyways, I just had some sour gummy worms, so I feel like I got a little bit of gunk in the back of my throat. There's that Mawile. Oh, that's a different Trap Pinch, and I got him in Reverse Hollow. That's cute. And we got our Buzzwool Holographic. I was expecting a lot. Oh, Buzzwool's an Ultra Beast. I never picked up on that for some reason. Um, but yep, I knew we were going to get some holographics in here. So there's our first one and this Buzzwool. It's like a buff, buff B. That's pretty cool. All right, we're going through. We've got a lot of, a lot of packages to open this time. Uh, opening this many kind of like gives me like, like a fever. Like, oh, I'm opening so many Pokemon cards. You don't want to be desensitized to it, but fortunately you do get a little bit. There's Ducklet. I think in the, I pulled its evolution in the last one. That's a Pokemon I'm not aware of. Um, so that's cool. Now I have both. Slugma. I don't think I've pulled your evolution. I'd like to, though. I like that Pokemon. Professor Oak's setup. I do think that is a full art. That would be a cool full art to have. I like that. Lolan Sandshrew and a Golurk. All right. I'm pulling up the sleeves here. This is my favorite artwork of all the pa packs right here. Love it. Love that. I don't know if there's a full art of that. or <clears throat> I know there's a normal GX, but if there's a Hyper Rare, it would be cool. Is there a full art? I, I like the full arts. I think they're really pretty. So that's what I think I would really like. I like collecting the full arts probably a little bit more than a hyper rare. I mean, it's really exciting to pull a hyper rare, but at the same time, you really want, I want the full arts. They, they look really nice, which is funny because, ooh, Torkoal. Oh, there's, that's a character card I want. Um, ooh, and a Kyogre. That's awesome. Actually, I think there's a theme deck with Kyogre in it. Um, what was I going to say? Lost, lost track. I'm just having a hard time. You start going on a rant, and uh, that's it. That's it for you when you when you get distracted. I really don't remember. Darn. Oh well. I gotta stop doing that where I rant, and then you guys <clears throat> never get to hear the end of it. I feel like I do that way too much. Ooh, look at that rap dash. That is a good looking horse. Roxy, full art. Oh yes. So when the full, I remember, guys. Oh, I love Galilea or Gal. I don't know. I pretend like I didn't say anything. Um, 
I love the full art EXs. I still think that they're my favorite, but I really do like the full art. Like it took me a while to come around to it, but I really do like the full art of the GXs too. Um, I'm starting to come around to it that uh, perhaps I didn't feel that way before. Our snow runt, we got a coughing. We got our psychic energy. A Lilip, oh yeah, I bet Cree Dilly's in here. I'd like to see that. That'd be a really cool ultra rare. Our Sunflora rare and our Beware. Okay, we, we got quite a bit to go. Only two pulls so far on this half, which I guess isn't too surprising because we had an amazing first half, which is fine, which is fine. And then a code card. One, two, three, four, one, two. This is a huge set though. There's like 236, not including the secret rares. Oh yeah, I haven't gotten a character card yet either. Hope I get more character cards out of this. Um, but uh, there's, that, there's that Misty. I feel like Misty has like the same reprint as the one in, is it Hidden Fates? Uh, maybe it's a uh, Unified Minds. Um, anyways, I feel like uh, there's so many cards that even though I might not be getting a bunch of like ultra rares and stuff, there's like so many other rares and stuff to collect and whatnot. So this is okay. I gotta get probably its own separate binder. We lost a card, what do you think it was? Boom, it was a Rotom, okay. Oh, Deerling, oh, that's a cute Pokemon. I haven't seen that one before. See, and the, see that one was new and that one's probably just a common. So I'm still getting caught new comments. Oh, there it is. I, did I just not do the card trick? I like really messed that up. There it is, a Torkoal character card. It's probably my second favorite of the character cards. Steelix being my one I want the most. That is incredible. I love that card. Look at that border. Ooh. Love that. Okay, that's so far my pull for this half. Love that. I always like the fire gym and uh, I like the steam idea. The theme of it in a uh, ruby and sapphire yeah we'll put you right there you oh no you are gorgeous just 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 hang out all right one two three four five six seven eight. okay that was over halfway officially so maybe we got another character card in here there's that trap inch not reverse hollow so that's good oh i messed up on that code card oh well it's okay not enough of you watched to steal my codes yet i don't think no one's mentioned it Actually, I don't even know if you guys even use my codes. I should try to go back in some of my older videos and try a code and just see if you guys, ooh, I love Sfeel. Um, See if you guys actually use those or not. Otherwise, like, there's a lot of codes just flowing out in space and never gonna get redeemed. Although, um, I did have a whole stack of those. Uh, I used to give out those code cards, <clears throat> like, on Saturdays, and I don't anymore. Part of the reason is my dog came in one day and was a little bit grumpy with me or something and was like, I'm gonna eat all of your code cards. And I have, I have maybe like 10 left or something like that. But yeah, I was collecting them, saving them. And she ate them. She wanted the codes for herself. All right, here we go. Continuing on Magnemite. There's a character card that I wouldn't mind having. It's a cute EV, um, but yeah. So that's why I stopped giving you code cards on Saturdays. If you wanted to know, I also don't know if you guys are really using them or if you care about them that much. There's Zot too. Just got, that's a good one, that's a good one. Okay, we're going Blastoise here, favorite starter. It's kind of a weird Blastoise face, I feel like. That Piplup looks menacing though. Maybe good job on that one. Oof. Here we go. Hopefully we have something good in this deck. I'm surprised I'm not getting more hollow rares, guys. I, that just really surprises me. I feel like I got like, two or three in the last one. I've only gotten one so far. Lil Up, we got a Leaf Energy. We got Lana's Fishing Rod. Chaotic Swell, I don't think I've seen that one. There's sometimes a lot of times where I go through and I go through them too fast, which is exactly like, I feel like when I started doing this, I didn't want to do that, but I've been doing it. Dusclops right there. We got a Reverse Hollow Piplup, not Menacing Ending. And we got the Tokopi Cluffa and Iggly Buff Tag Team Trio. Yes, just the normal tag team, but that is gorgeous. Um, looks a little bit uneven. Like down here is a lot more space than up here. I kind of look at these corners too, and there's a lot more space. But that is a gorgeous card. One of the ones I wanted. I love these three starters. Our starters, these three like baby Pokemon from the uh, second gen. I love that they did. I love that they decided to do that because the Hidden Fates had the legendary trio, and there's a legendary trio obviously in this one too, but. I love that they were like, let's just go the complete opposite 
you know, it could have been could have been a no-brainer. They could have gone like, oh, let's make a Charizard Blastoise Venusaur, but they were like, nah, let's do a let's do baby Pokemon one. And the health on it is like 240. That's like that's a lot of health for baby Pokemon. I think that's really funny. Alright, here we go. But that I'm really excited about that poll. Still think I like that character card a little bit more. I don't know. We'll have to open Elite Trainer Box and I have to like go through and see what what cards I'm actually gonna be excited for. Ooh, a reverse hollow Entei, that's a new one. I don't have that one yet. Um, that's cool. And we got a holographic Alolan Ninetales. What a pretty Pokemon, love that. And there's another hollow. I'll put them way back here. I feel like my camera is focusing a little bit better today. All right, Cosmic Eclipse, here we go. We've got, this is our fourth to last pack. So we're getting here towards the end. Might be a, might not be getting another full art. Might not be getting that trainer like I hope, but that's okay. As you can see behind Elite Trainer Box, another booster box. We got more Cosmic Eclipse coming up. And I definitely have another Cosmic Eclipse booster box coming. Um, I found that out. I didn't realize I had ordered that many. And so um, I got two of them off eBay. There's a reverse holiday pouring on. And then Drampa. Um, we're gonna save that one. We're gonna save that one. Let's go into the legendary tree under. Um, Here we go. Um, but so I, I, um, I like to try to leave reviews as soon as I get products and I left a review for one of my Cosmic Eclipse booster box boxes that hadn't even shipped. Um, which was also really interesting because it said ETA was like October 19th and it's way past October 19th. So, um, which, you know, I didn't actually expect to get before October 19th. It's just the way their store did it and it kind of backwards. Oh, and there we go. There's our rare Entei. I was just saying I didn't have that normally, but there you go. Our second to last pack here, Blastoise. Hi, Ponyta. Welcome to the welcome to the party, Ponyta. Okay. I like. I got my code cards on the on the left here, and I got my trash on the right here. Silly, silly. All right. It's Ponyta. So yeah, I left a review for it, and I'm like, oh, they haven't even shipped it, but they've shipped it now, so I've got one coming on the way. Now I have to go and review uh, the other booster box that the person I actually got there is from. <gasps> Excuse me. We got the Pikachu and Ash character card. That is probably gonna be the fan favorite character card. Cause, oh, it's not Ash, it's red. Excuse me, Ash, come on, what a... Yeah, you got red here and you got Pikachu. That's a really cute card too, yeah. That is a great pull. Ooh, ooh, I don't know, guys. I, I don't know. Which one should be my favorite? Probably the Pikachu one. I don't know. But I'm really happy with these character cards that I got in this side of the booster box. Here we go. The last pack. Let us open it. Boom. Starting with the Carvana. And here we go. One, two, three, four. Will we get one more ultra rare pull? It's true. First half of this booster box, fantastic. Second half, still pretty good, but uh, not nearly as exciting. I was on such a high when I went to work right after opening the first half that I've been thinking about this second half all day. Sphere Reverse and an Armaldo, which I would also love an incredible GX version of this. If it's out there, Craig Dilly and Armaldo, you both deserve one. You're really cool Pokemon. You're like the Kabutops and the Omnistar of the third gen. All right, let's take a little recap here. Let's see what, we'll do it. We'll do it like this. We got our Buzzswole Holographic. Great card, Ultra Beast, Alone in Nine Tails Holographic. Then we got our triple tag team of Cleffa, Igglybuff, and Togepi. Let's see, that's a great card, one of my favorites. So we got a Nuggadadala, Megadel, I don't know, dude. And Guzzlord GX Tag Team. Um, so that's really cool. And then we got our two character cards, which are secret rares. We got our Torkoal, which I love. And I love that gym leader. And we got a Pikachu with red. It's awesome. So that is super cool. Love those character cards. I think they really nailed it. Rather than the breaks and the prisms, I think this is the way to go. Love this. I'm going to even like consider getting this graded. I'll have to look at it a little bit deeper, but... Um, 
These cards are awesome. So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you liked, please leave a like. If you wanna see more, please subscribe. If you wanna see the first half of this and you haven't, I definitely recommend it. If you stuck through this one, you should definitely sit through that one because that one is lit. It is, it is just incredible. Yeah, but until then, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.